It's Friday, November 3rd, and if you've been waiting and wondering if the newest version of the Xbox gaming console, the Xbox X, is worth the $500 asking price, well, we were wondering as well, so we dutifully put it to the test. Microsoft is claiming its latest hardware is also their highest performing console, and we can enthusiastically say that is indeed the case. It's also their smallest Xbox to date, about 40% smaller than the Xbox One and One S. But don't be fooled by the size. The X box is packing a lot of firepower with a 6 teraflop AMD graphics engine and 12 gigs of RAM. That does wonders for gameplay, especially for many older games which get an enhanced performance boost that makes them more fun than ever. And when you need to take a break, the X also outputs HDR video from its 4K Blu-ray disc player. You can also record gaming action to the internal 1 terabyte hard drive and upload it. Nice. But it's not all digital bliss, as we have a few quibbles with some features, so check out DT Gaming Editor Mike Epstein's full review of the Xbox X at the link. For some people, getting the new Apple iPhone X means they get to do the one thing that would pretty much terrify most owners of the new Superphone. They immediately take it apart to see what makes it tick. That, of course, is what the folks over at iFixit do for a living, so we were especially keen to see what they said was inside Apple's latest piece of cutting-edge hardware. First surprise, the battery is apparently two batteries in an L-shaped formation, ostensibly to make better use of space inside the phone, and the motherboard is quite a bit smaller than the one in the iPhone 7. Other highlights include the super tiny Face ID system and just how many parts there are. It's good to know what's inside in case the worst were to happen. It's Friday, and that means movie night for a lot of us, and the latest Marvel extravaganza, Thor Ragnarok, opens in theaters today, and DT movie reviewer Rick Marshall says it's the Thor movie that Thor himself has always wanted. Chris Hemsworth is back as the God of Thunder, and he's teamed up with the Hulk, his sketchy brother Loki, and newcomer Tessa Thompson as Valkyrie to battle Kate Blanchett as Hela, the Goddess of Death, and Antlers apparently, for the fate of their home world Asgard. What transpires is a rollicking good time, boosted by a strong cast, we can't not mention that crazy Jeff Goldblum is involved of course, and there is a lot of action, and much comedy as well. It's also one of the most eye-poppingly gorgeous movies we've seen in a long time as well, so be sure to catch it in 3D if possible. Check out Rick's review at the link, and be sure to get all the latest tech news in fabulous 2D at digitaltrends.com, as well as our Facebook page and YouTube channel, also sadly still in 2D, maybe 3D next year. And be sure to catch Between the Streams today, our entertainment podcast that goes live at 2 p.m. Pacific, where we'll be talking more about Thor and all the latest in movies and television. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.